2011, we are on our way to the West Country. We're heading to uh, South Dakota, Badlands National Park, um, Yellowstone, Wind Cave National Park, Grand Teton National Park, coming down through Colorado into Rocky Mountain National Park. And we'll be coming home next weekend, so it'll be a nine or ten day trip, and we're excited. We'll leave yep. out a fair few nights. Yep, we're in Iowa, Southeast Iowa. Notice a lot of cornfields. No, I can't actually see any at the moment. In our Chevy Impala. We just crossed the Skunk River. Would you like to go boating on the Skunk in River? In southwestern Minnesota. And we will be in South Dakota in no time. Started off the drive, then marched at a big chunk of Iowa, and then gave it back to me in Minnesota, and so here we are. Um, we've come probably 600 miles since we left Fairview Heights. Everything looks pretty well the same. You got the wind farm over there. Here we are in Owacoma, South Dakota, where we stayed last night, the Hojo. And we got into some storms, but before that, the bugs all of a sudden just went crazy. And as you can see, this car was clean yesterday. And you can't really see them on the windshield as good, but I'll say this, we're going to have to clean it off before we can drive anywhere. It was terrible. The Hojo was nice. I wish we could have stayed longer. It's usually the way it goes when we get a nice hotel. Where it's one of those where we're in and out. We are in the edge of the Badlands National Park. We're about to enter the loop. Exciting, we're gonna hit five national parks on this trip and this is the first one coming up. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm glad you're doing the camera. It's... I'm, I'm a man of many hats. See, driving, camera. You're a man of many risks. Here, do you wanna take a couple photos while I'm at it? Yeah, here. Let me hold the steering wheel. No, I got it. My knee. That's what <laughs> knees are for. We had to put on the long sleeves. It is 65 degrees. The high yesterday was about 98 right up here. And now it's 65 and the high is going to be like 75 or 80. And it's been raining off and on, but it's not raining now. So stay tuned for the Badlands awesome. National Park. We are here. The Badlands National Park. We just got out and took our picture by the sign. Met some people from New York. They're driving all the way from New York to Glacier to Yellowstone. They have a bit further than what we're gonna do. And we're gonna pull up here and pay our $80 for our yearly annual pass. Annual National Park National Monument Pass. Can't imagine why they call it Badlands. Crazy, everything's eroded away, but and then leaves, leaves this stuff. Some kind of little droppings. These little droppings are everywhere. Just gonna film a little here as we go through. No real question where we're at. Forty-five mile an hour speed limit would be hard to reach. Thirty-five seems plenty fast right through here. This area. Is that a crow or a magpie or what is that? Raven. Vulture? Vulture? Yeah. I think a vulture. It looks small, but that's what it is. We're gonna find a magpie at some point here. That's the plan. There might be one flying right there. I don't know. 
I saw a bird with a big tail flying, but I couldn't tell what it was, and there's no pull-offs there. Here we go, here's a look at what we're dealing with here. I guess we'll hit the visitor center down there somewhere. Yeah. Well, we saw our first magpie back at the uh, visitor center, well, behind the visitor center. We went to some area and saw, saw a big old magpie. Pretty neat, vivid black and white bird, crow size with a super long tail. We, uh, we budgeted about two hours uh, here in the Badlands, and the first five miles took us... Well, we're pushing an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Some of them are bigger, some of them are We got some prairie dogs going on here. Through here, look it up. Look We're driving through Rapid City. Rapid City, South Dakota. It's uh, it's 11:20 Mountain Time, so we're making good time today, I think. You head down to Wind Cave and then through Custer State Park and Mount Rushmore. What a day still ahead of us. We're here in Custer State Park, South Dakota. There's a big buck. At least he looks big to those of us that don't know better. I'm pretty sure he is big. I'd shoot him. Not here, of course. They would frown on me. So far we've seen a mule deer, doe, several pronghorn and some turkeys. We are going up at Custer State Park. Darren was just mentioning that it's good to have guardrails at the steeper places. Let's see what the elevation is here. I go menu. Menu. Uh, tools. tools. Where am I? Where am I? We are at 4,047 feet. The highest point up here is just over seven, like 7,200 feet. And uh, car coming. It's also, and it's the highest point between the Rockies and the Alps. So we'll probably get there at some point today. Custer State Park looks how we picture Yellowstone to look. So uh, we'll see. So we'll find out if we're at, now that minus the snow. <laughs> There's a herd of wild burrows that move around here. And we have found them. They're pretty tame. Still in uh, Custer State Park, and we just came across our first buffalo. There's a guy, big guy there, and then there's, looks like a calf over there. Now this guy here did not read the uh, signs that said that buffalo are dangerous. Thinks he could take that buffalo if need be. More buffalo. Well, like I said, during the Needles Highway. That was Wind Cave. That was a uh, Custer National or Custer State Park. Now we're heading to Wind Cave National Park, and then we're gonna come back to Custer State Park, a different area, Needle Highway. We saw pronghorn, mule deer, and bison. And turkeys. And turkeys. So. Not bad. Not bad. Success. Some kind of marmot critter. Not real sure. What the ID him. Here, man. Get one right there. She 
Give me hard ID. We're just outside of Custer State Park and uh, a small bison jam here, as you can see. Kind of trying to rain. Should I try to go around these people or what? Look at that big bull. This one down here? Yeah, one walking right now. Wind Cave National Park, number park number two today. If you look out there, you'll see a whole heck of a lot of buffalo. Just came into uh, Wind Cave National Park. We're not actually going to go down into one of the caves today. We don't have time. But we wanted to get into the park, so we, you know, been here. It's one of sixty some odd national parks. We figured we'd at least step foot on it so we can count it. We found out it rains a lot in Wind Cave National Park. Yeah, pretty heavily, actually. Okay. Signing off. Needles Highway. World famous Needles Highway. It's a lot of switchbacks, best we can tell. We're not up in the high elevations yet, but we will be in about nine miles. Good hairpin coming up here. Good. This is one of the famous tunnels on the Needles Highway. Well, we're up over 6,000 feet now. Well, here we are at 6,058 feet. And it got caught in a rainstorm that turned into a hailstorm. Hail wasn't real big, but uh, I don't know. We were out in it and it started hailing and we ran back to the car. I don't even know if any of it's... No, well, most of it's all melted. Ooh, it is cooled down though. It is cold out there. Oh, she's checking her list off. Campground, check. Prairie dog, check. Have we seen an insect? You got bit. Is that here? No, oh, it's Badlands. Oh. A bull buffalo? Check. Have you seen a rocky hillside? I have seen a rocky hillside. I think they're just giving us stuff so we can feel good about checking things. In case we don't see some other yeah. thing. The entrance station, which you got this book at. The Peter Norbeck Visitor Center. A bird. <laughs> a wild burrow. A badger hole. Yes? No? I think so, but I don't know. You can check it if you want to. Cool little star. We've seen a fence post. We've seen a deer. We've seen a pronghorn, a park ranger, a yellow-bellied marmot, an RV, the fire tower at Mac College, and a park office. Well done. Thank you.
them with their dogs and playing Niagara Falls, all over. Aw, oh, that's neat. <laughs> now, do you want me to get some, like, as wide as you as possible? Let's see, like this, maybe? Whatever looks good to you. Okay, one, two, three. No real mystery why this place is one of the most famous scenic roads in the country. Getting to the top. A bit of the road here. Yeah. Started to rain again. Why do they call this the Needles Highway again? On uh, hairpin turns, spirals as far as the eye can see. My sky is. Is there a rental? My uh. Walking up to the great, walking up to the great uh, Mount Rushmore. Big ones. A lot of people. A lot of different languages being spoken. Well, we just got to Wyoming about 20 minutes ago and we are here on uh, Highway 24 heading towards Check that little cabin out. Devil's Tower. Right there. GPS.
GPS says we're still 20 minutes away. It's a long ways away. We've been seeing all kinds of deer on this road, so we're keeping our eye out for... Well, this is a dangerous curve. we got to slow down to 60. Ooh. Wyoming is beautiful so far. Good morning. It is July 2nd, around 5.30. That's where we slept last night. We are here at the KOA over there at Devil's Tower. And there it is. Pretty cool, huh? We're going to uh, go look at it and come back and then tear down the tent because of all the dew. KOA is nice. We're climbing that thing today. <laughs> One at the top and I'm setting a flag. She's <laughs> laughing at me. Because of my hair. We play Close Encounters of the Third Kind every night here. Well, on the weekends. We got set up right by the petting zoo. But, we also got set up real close to the entrance on this nice grass. Better than all the other tent sites that I've seen, so can't complain too much. Sun's really coming out now. Check out my new orange kicks. Ooh, fancy. Here we are at Devil's Tower. Darren's chasing a warbler. We uh, already hiked up. Did not climb to the top like Darren said. But we did walk about third to halfway all the way around it. Saw the KOA from the other side. On the other side you see the uh, wooden ladder they built to go up it. Still in one of the crevices on the other side. We're here at the visitor center. It's not open yet. It's, uh, I don't know if it's quite seven. Yeah, one picture of him is pretty good. There we go. Pretty bird. Yeah, it's probably well after seven now. Again, there's the Great Devil's Tower. But we are at the little prairie dog town. I see a lot of people here, so they're not too scared. Want me a pet one? I don't think he's gonna let me get there. I'm not gonna touch him. Hi, little fella. Take another step. Here he comes. He's gonna fly out and jump and grab her. I know. Pretty much everywhere. I'm stuck in a hole. That was a tiny one. That one won't shut up. He's barking. There's the culprit. Oh, he's gone. There's one. Barking again. Oh, there's one standing up and barking. Looks like quite a storm over there. Keep seeing lightning over there. See the rain coming down. There's the magnificent Devil's Tower. We were just up there. We were somewhere in them trees. There's a three pack. Two now.
He's barking again over there. Here he goes. Where's she? She. This is our first sighting of mountains. You can see them right there in the horizon. We were in mountains in South Dakota yesterday, but we did nothing like this. this is Looks like the, the last line of clouds there, but those are snow caps. Yep, we're gonna lose them. See there to the right. We're still about 80 or, five, 80 or so miles, 85 miles outside of Sheridan. I'm guessing that's part of the Bighorn Mountains. We don't really know for sure. But that's the direction we're gonna be headed here in a minute. We're gonna make a turn that way, so I'm guessing that's, that's the Bighorns. Mom and Dad used to go on the weekends when they lived in Wyoming and go to the Big Horn Mountains. Well, we came through Ranchester and Dayton, Wyoming, and we're heading into the Big Horn Mountains. If you look ahead, you'll see the Big Horn Mountains. We saw a lot of that snow on the top, so don't see any snow right here. But uh, earlier in different places, we saw a lot of snow. So. Those are the cars that we just saw come by here, pulling those big fifth wheels. I have an idea we're in for some uh, scenic driving. Boy, it's just the enormity of this. It's just hard to comprehend. Dog running around over there. No, we're all dying off. I took lessons 35 years ago in Minneapolis on a hill. Did you get hurt the first try? You know that? I hit a tree, pulled right. I couldn't, like, die your body, you know, like, I couldn't get the weight right. Push off, yes, when he gets going, he has to grab that handle and push up on the push up on the bar because it'll push this. This is amazing. I've never seen this. Yeah. It's just getting it in. He'll flip it up and grab the handle. Transition, but oh, airborne. 
I got about 40 feet my first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I the <laughs> Heard him saying that was his first time off this mountain. Jones and bad. There's a couple cars in that turnaround. Is that what you're saying? That little... Yeah, if you look straight down, you might be looking in the wrong place. But see where you W get the flat. Yeah. See the just to the right of where he's at. And out just yeah, just to the right of where he's at right now. Right down there where those cars are going oh, right I there. See it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How long can he float? I mean, how long is this ride gonna last? Well, what is it? It's 12 <laughs> minutes if, it, if it's a sled ride. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've been down in five before. Have you really? If <laughs> you get sick, you sick man. With no, with no, with no updraft, he's gonna go right down, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But these guys fly for hours. Oh. Yeah. They actually fly over to Parkman. Parkman. And uh, and go there. So this, that right there was his first launch off this this. That guy's. Here. Yeah. Oh my God. Started off a smaller hill somewhere, mountain somewhere. Get going. Get, well, that's where I'm at. I'm on the buddy slope still. I want to get there, but yeah. I'm not quite there yet. I only did it once. I only did it once about 35 years ago and then hit a tree. <laughs> and that was it? That was it. Well, no, I, I didn't mind it. I just couldn't afford to do it anymore. You said he went 40 feet. I went about 40, 40, 50 feet. The guy said, yeah, you look great. And I, I couldn't, because, you know, you, how you hang, how you steer it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I, you know, I lost all, uh, all control and just went straight right into the tree. We're still up here in the Bighorns. And I don't know what it takes to be a mountain up here, but 8347 is a hill. I'm scared of the mountains. Our GPS is fairly close. It's, as far as accuracy, it's got an 8362. So, we're high. We're getting there. We wanted to come, over. We wanted to come this way because she's really badly wanted to see a moose. You're using a long one. We saw somebody pulled off. No cow moose. Heading down to Shell Falls, still in Bighorn, in the Bighorn Mountains and Bighorn National Forest. Wow. Rainbow from the fall. like dead in in point or something along those lines. I said the foothills of the Yellowstone. I mean the edge of the Yellowstone just most of the time. Not in any foothills or almost 8,000 feet altitude up here. As you can see